Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. Here we are on Wednesday, the 7th of September. Wednesday Night Live starts up tonight, boys and girls, moms and dads. We invite you to come at 5.45, the doors open, supper at 6 with classes starting at 6.30. So come and enjoy the rainbow of promise. God's Not Dead 2, Half-Truths by Adam Hamilton. And whatever else you can find to do on a Wednesday night, come to the Methodist Church. We are almost to the end of our book, 101 Things You Should Do Before Going to Heaven. We're on number 93 this morning. Peer through a telescope and a microscope. I want you to think back to your teenage years. Chances are that in high school science, you had the opportunity to look through both a telescope and a microscope. Chances are also pretty good that you saw what you saw was downright astonishing. Even if you acted cool and pretended that the rings of Saturn or the minuscule critters swimming in a pond, drop of pond water were nothing special. Before you go to heaven, allow yourself to be astonished all over again. Visit an observatory or a planetarium. Beg or borrow one of those nifty new portable telescopes. Take a trip to a natural history museum or a children's science museum. You may want to take a kid along if you're still worried about that cool thing. Visit one of those stores at the mall with all the scientific goodies. Check out their microscope display. Take advantage of any avenue you can find that will allow you to see what is usually out of your sight, what is hidden from the unaided human eye. You know what? You will be reminded that there's so much more going on than those things that you are aware of every day. A universe of beauty and detail exists both above your head and beneath your feet, none to mention under your skin. The real picture of life in all of its intricate order and complexity is so much bigger than what you can see with your own eyes. Yet, there are limits to what even the most powerful telescope and microscope can reveal. There is a spiritual universe as complex and ordered as the physical one. One where angels work and God reigns. This universe is as real as the rings of Saturn or the amoebas living in the nearest pond. It simply isn't visible to the human eye. But one day you will have new eyes that can see the landscape of heaven and the glory of God. Until then, let every telescope and microscope remind you that there is more going on than meets the eye. Have a great day.